Welcome to another episode of High Sugar Content where we discuss the Jones Rule. Sha la 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 la. Uh huh. Mr. Jones and me. Mr. Jones is wrong. The old rule of 86 is still widely being used. Today we're going to talk about why that's wrong. So, what's the Jones Rule and who is Mr. Jones? Well, the Jones Rule of 86 was developed back in 1946 at the University of Vermont by maple syrup guru and educator C.H. Jones. Basically, it's a simple formula that allows a person to calculate how many gallons of maple sap it takes to make one gallon of maple syrup. Well, this was back in the day when maple syrup was at a density of 65.5 bricks. That's your sugar content. Now, the maple syrup density in most cases is 66.9 bricks. So the Jones rule is now invalid. Sorry, Mr. Jones. And why is this important? Because correct projections are important, especially over larger volumes of sap. So the old Jones rule of 86 is simply this. 86 divided by X. And X is your maple sugar content of your maple sap. So under the old Jones rule, if your sap was 2% sugar, it would take 43 of these to make one of these. But under the new Jones rule, it's going to actually take almost 44 of these to make one gallon of maple syrup. So one entire gallon more of maple sap at 2% sugar. So now the new rule is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more scientific. It's actually 88.2 divided by x, x being your sugar content, minus 0.32. So to recap, the old Jones formula is no longer valid because of the change in maple syrup bricks from back in Jones's day till now. So we require a new formula to make accurate projections on how our maple syrup yield will turn out. So stay tuned to High Sugar Content for more maple news, tips, tricks, and reviews and everything maple. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, always keep it real. All right, everyone, so please check out my website for all things maple.